Hey folks, I thought just thought I'd do a little uh, video for you on one of the things that we did for mom. Uh, I'm gonna talk about probably in some little videos about uh, you know trying to keep her active. Uh, if you've seen the previous videos, you know that uh, uh, she had dementia and some other um, medical problems. But this is the road that we live on, and I'm not sure of the exact length. Um, if I can figure out what it is between telephone poles, it's about six telephone poles in length. So what we used to do is, first of all, keep her physically, I mean, not only mentally, but physically active. We started our house um, way back, uh, however the distance is, and she could actually, the first year, walk way up the full length, uh, you know, behind a walker or wheelchair, up to the edge of the road here, and at that point, uh, we'd turn around, come back, or uh, a lot of times I went up and down the road where they're probably for another uh, couple of miles. And again, this did a couple of things. It kept her physically active uh, and then, you know, kept her mind going, seeing things. She'd like to pick out certain leaves for projects. Uh, let's see, what else? twigs whatever well maybe not twigs but whatever it was that she liked so i'm not sure how this is going to come out because it's really windy and we will see all right a little less sun and uh wind right here uh behind me that is going to the end of the road and that's uh i'm about almost six telephone poles uh distance from there there's one like you know up in front of me about another 50 feet and so we would uh come out from mom's house right there and again walk as far as she could initially she couldn't walk the full length but uh when we got to the hill part here often i would have her sit in the wheelchair i'd push her up and over that was the deal and get her to say hey mom is downhill for the rest of the way after that i'll be doing more videos um i'd like to on little things we did for mom while we're caring for her to help her uh, stay mentally active. Hopefully some of these videos will help other people that have gone through doing the uh, caregiver thing for a relative. And again, we were very lucky that we were able to uh, keep her home until the time of uh, her passing where she passed peacefully at home. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Any questions or comments, feel free to uh, place them below. Thank you.